How a prenup can help the average man. How the average man can benefit from a woman signing the prenuptial agreement. The average man cannot, I repeat, cannot benefit from getting a woman to sign the prenuptial agreement. And here's why. So let's just break this tick down, yeah? So the prenuptial agreement is when a man gets the woman to sign, or a woman gets the man to sign, but in this case, we're talking about men. When a man gets the woman to sign an agreement to say, whatever I enter this relationship with, whatever I had beforehand, is mine to keep, yeah? So whatever I had before, you can't touch that, yeah? Whatever I accumulate afterwards, whilst we get married and afterwards, then yeah, you get to have half of that. But whatever I had before, you can't touch that. That's cool. But if we think about it logically, if we think about it logically, remember, I said the average man. What does the average man really have? Right, so men that come into a relationship, into a marriage that have got stuff beforehand, i.e. properties, business, a lot of cash and that, that's only what? Five, ten percent of men? Only five... 10% of men have really got their shit together, have got a hundred grand in cash, have got properties on properties, have some flourishing business. That's five or 10% of men. The other 11 to 80% of men, they're average men. What's the average man? Living on the breadline, financial debt, living paycheck to paycheck, struggling. Oh, congratulations, you've got a Mercedes. Oh, congratulations, you've got uh, a wardrobe that's worth 20 grand. That's the average man. The average man is not doing too well. And if you think about it logically, think about it logically. Most men, when they do start to get their shit together, how old are they? Because they're not 20 or 25. No, 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 not everyone could be J Wise. But that's not even a joke. Man starting to be on point around 25 and then takes it in it. So well, at least had a property by the age of 24. Um, the average man, when he does start to get his shit together, he's probably I mean minimum 30, if we're talking about the average man, if not 35. Okay, so the average man that gets his shit together is usually about the age of 30 to 35. But how old is the average man that really and truly gets married? 25, 28. So therefore, when he does get his shit together, it will be during the phase where he's married. So therefore, he's entering it with nothing. Oh, do you know what? No, I forgot. Congratulations, you brought 10 pound into the equation. You had £10 before. Or, oh, you know what? Nah, he gets to protect his Gucci belt collection. Yeah, let's not forget that. The average man gets his shit together when he's 30, 35, 40 years old. But the average man that does get married is married by the age of 28. So therefore, anything that the average man accumulates after the age of 28, 30, he would usually likely be in a marriage and that. So therefore, his things, they get slashed in half. Don't fucking get married, blood. Like I said, you know what? If you want to get married, if you work at Asda, get married, fam. You ain't got nothing to lose, blood. But if you've got stuff to lose, why would you want to get married to a creature that one day, if you become boring or whatever, because men, you know what? Let's face it. We're boring. We're quite boring creatures and that. Are we boring or do we like a simple life? I say we like a simple life. You know, some people will say men are boring on average. You know, we're not hard to impress and that. We don't mind Netflix and chilling and that. Yeah? Certain men, and you know I don't rate them man there, but certain men don't mind sitting down for hours per day or at least hours per week playing video games and that. We're solitary creatures by nature, really. I know we're solitary creatures. Because a man could have a three bed house, uh, 2.4 children, whatever it is, or a wife or maybe a girlfriend and two, three youths and that. 
in a nice little house, he would still have some dirty man cave, some dirty annex at the back of the yard. One brought down radio, one brought down local fridge, a couple beers in it if he drinks and that. Man, like, we like our own space and that. The average man, he gets his shit together by the age 30, 35, 40 years old. But then he's already in a marriage. So anything that he accumulates is going to get slashed right in half. The prenup thing don't make no sense for the average man. Yeah, the prenup thing makes sense for the average 5, 10% of man that got their shit together way before they get into a marriage with a woman. But for the average guy, the average 11 to 80% of man, don't do nothing for them. What's, what's a prenup going to do for a man that has nothing in the first place? Oh, so you get to secure your, 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 the tenor that you came into the relationship with. So the 5 to 10% of man, they're going to have their shit together. Yeah, it's going to benefit them. The 11 to 80% of man, which is the average man walking around, uh, the prenup ain't going to do nothing for him. And then obviously, the, you know, the 81 to 100% of man, the, the remaining 20%, they're just crackheads anyway. Or serial waste men. Never get married. Never never put yourself in a position where you need to be signing no prenups as well. Just don't get married. It's a waste of fucking time, blood. And a certain gal are probably gonna watch this be angry and that couple probably couple black gals gonna watch this and be angry and that because Jay is telling their man that he don't even know. Don't get married. It's like see gal know exactly what they're doing, fam. They know. This is why women want security. Yeah, this, is why, this is why women want marriage, because they know, yeah, boom, anything happens and that. Yeah, this is the thing. A man will enter a marriage and that, and yeah, let's say not sign a prenup or whatever, innit? He ain't got no prenuptial agreement and that. Or, yeah, even if he did sign a prenup beforehand, but during, you know, when he's uh, progressing as a man and that, he's going to start to accumulate properties and that, and oh, yeah, just because the woman was on a 25, 30 grand salary in that and she helped him get that property in that and she just put down five, uh, 5,000 pounds to add to deposit in that, she feels like she's entitled to half. But really and truly, really and truly, that same guy, if he didn't even have that woman, he would still be accumulating two, three, four, five properties in that with, without the help of a woman. It just so happens that he's in a, uh, a committed relationship, i.e. a marriage in that. This whole marriage thing is a fucking scam. It only benefits the woman, don't benefit the man. The couple black girls watching this right now, they think, they think they're, they're deluding themselves. Their, their boyfriend or whatever, any fiance is proposed to them and they got engaged, so they got a fiance and that, innit? But check back at 10 years' time, you'll still be a fiance. You're not getting married. Black men propose to women just to shut them up. And what they do is, their excuse for not getting married is, yo, look, man, money's tight. The economy's crashed, yeah? It's recession, yeah? The price of bleach has gone up from 35p to fucking 60p. Real talk. I went into Tesco's today. And I fuck, listen, blood. Let me tell you something, yeah? I ain't gonna, I don't want no copyright strikes now, but this used to be like, I think 30, 40p, sorry. 40p, now it's 60p, yeah? Killing man out here, man, man, yeah? I'm not trying to keep my yard clean and that, and it's all costing me extra. But yeah, what happens is, the man, them black man, they will propose to uh, their woman just to shut them up. I know women, plenty of women. They've been engaged for 10, 50, 20 years. You are not getting married. You're not getting married. Apparently, this is the way it's supposed to go, apparently. You're supposed to date for six months to a year and then a man is supposed to propose to you. And then maybe in due course within a year or so, get married. For me, that sounds super fast and that. But, you know, I, I all heard a man like Kevin Samuels talking like that. Like, he was saying to some of the women, um, if, the man hasn't, if a man hasn't proposed to you after six months or a year, then he's, he's not serious about you. Like, what? What? Blood, listen. I was going to...
gonna say, no, nah, actually, to be fair though, I think I did say to my girl, all right, all right, cool. You know, she she backed me in the corner with a couple of shanks and machetes and chainsaws and that, and you get me, gave me the ultimate. No, I'm joking, kidding it, but yeah, I think me and my girl made it official after like, I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe like six months of seeing each other. I don't know, fucking engagement. Maybe four or five months of seeing each other. There ain't no fucking engagement, bro. Well, certain people, certain I, one of my family members did get engaged after six months. Um, yeah, one of my girl cousins, she got engaged after six months of dating, but they're, they're still together in that. Um, but for me, like, put down in the comment section below, let's say you did agree with the marriage thing, even if you weren't going to do it yourself or you're not in a position, you don't have a gal or whatever in it, or if you're a girl and you're watching this, you don't have a man or whatever in it, yeah? What's your opinion on how soon someone should get married? So after they start dating from day one, after day one when they start dating, how soon should the guy propose? So long as he's serious about it. So, what, after six months, after a year, two years, five years? Let me know, innit? But to end the video, the prenuptial agreement does not help the average man. It does not help the average man. The average man starts to get his shit together when he's age 30, 35 years old. But the average man also gets married at the age of 25, 28, 30 years old. So when he does start to get his shit together, yeah, he signed a prenuptial agreement, yeah, back when he was 25 and that, but he had nothing. He had nothing, he had not, he, he, he didn't enter the equation with anything. Congratulations, you've uh, made sure that your, your Gucci belt collection and your, your, your red bottom and your Balenciaga tracksuits are all uh, safe. Yeah, the woman can't can't take away your things and that. Foolishness. You think I'll get married? I've got too much to lose. Yeah? I've got too much what else got to lose, man. Anyway, stay wise. I don't know.